everybody, it's Sunday night, which means it's time for CircuitPython and LibGPIOD. I finally got my LibGPIOD bindings in CircuitPython so I can support this. You can kind of barely see underneath here. What is this? Is That's it... a single board computer. Yeah, it's an orange pie. Right. These are some low cost all winter boards. I thought it would be neat to show that, yes, you can do stuff with these boards using CircuitPython. So I've got the board definition here for the all winter. And you can see I'm using LibGPOD, and then I define all the pins. And then what's cool is you can just use CircuitPython, and here's some test code I wrote. It's just uh, displaying some GPS data, and it's got a light sensor, and it's blinking an LED. And then I'm going to work on NeoPixels. GPS is working. Um, I got the uh, barometric pressure sensor, and then after that, uh, maybe one of these DHT22s. And then get all sorts of other sensors, accelerometers, capacitive touch. All these will work because I've got the underpinnings for CircuitPython supported. So I'm pretty excited, making really good progress. Check out the guide. Especially if you're um, a fan of all winter boards, what you can help with is adding more pins and definitions for boards because it's the same chip, but there's like all, there's like 20 different like orangey pies. So if we can have a definition file for each one of those boards of what pins are used and available, then you'll be able to use CircuitPython and our 110 plus libraries and drivers with all of your favorite Linux single board computers. Yeah. And that's what I'm working on.